James Hennessy, thank you, sir, for the two dollar donation. He was asking yeah, if Jacuri Brown is I if TV if TVD's not there. I, I'm I starting to wonder whether or not Van Dyke's gonna come back. I, I saw an interesting tweet go out where it was TVD's obviously injured. Um should we just ride with Jacuri Brown for the rest of the for the rest of the year, and I say yes. We we've seen what we're gonna get from Jake in this offense, and honestly, I just think he's gonna transfer out. I don't see him staying here. And if we're gonna run with Jacuri as the future, because he is the future, go through the growing pains now. Just do it now. Well, uh, uh, you're looking at that from a fan perspective. They're gonna look at it from. Right now, Tyler Van Dyke is a better quarterback than Curry Brown. It just is what oh, it no, is. I'm be, saying for the rest of the he, season, if, if TVD's injured, if TVD's right, healthy, okay. you gotta start. This is a scenario where TVD's injured and you got to start either Jake or Jacuri. Just put in Jacuri, man. He's I mean, yeah, out of, out, of the, out of the two, he's definitely looking more effective. Yeah, and, this, this was in a scenario where, where TVD is injured. And honestly, now, I think now that's not to say, yeah, now it. <laughs> Let's just say, for the sake of argument, you know, Van Dyke goes on to the NFL, and you're looking at Jake and and Jacuri, I, I'm sure both of them are going to get a fair shot in the off season, oh, as they should. And you know, whichever one looks better, we'll get the start. Now, if we do hear, you know, if we hear in the summer that that Jake is transferring out, then we know he won't. We already know whether or not they say that Jacuri's won the job. But I'm not going to necessarily say that he will because you see guys all the time don't get starting jobs. They stick around and fight for it. And if he does, props to him. I'm just I'm just sitting over here listening to you guys and having fun reading this chat. <laughs> David I, I do want to give a, put a pretty funny comment there. Actually. Oh wait, wait, we did we did miss a um a super chat here. No, we read it. We read it. Oh, you got okay. Cool. I had to step away and stir some paint for a moment. Yeah, uh, I do want to give a shout Thanks, out James to Tennessee. to uh, True Seminole. Uh, congratulations to Florida State. You are bowl eligible for the first time in like the last four or five years. Woo! Congratulations. Congrats to our little sister. You know what? Miami's going to be back in seven weeks, but right now, right now, FSU's back. They're back. They made a bowl game, guys. They did it. That's pretty sweet. Nice. Now, I mean, hats off, though, to the, to the FSU fans and, and, and the team itself. They did kick her ass, so, you know. No. No. Give them no credit. <laughs> oh, man. Refs ref, ref stole the game. The refs stole the game. I'm that way with I'm that way with Florida. I got respect for Florida State. I do too. I've got respect for both of them. Just I've, I've watched the the rivalries go on so long in my life that you know, and I've got so many friends that are fans of those teams. But uh, you know, yeah, congrats to them. I mean, work, workforce is absolutely right. Every time we fire somebody and then rehire somebody. We're starting the cycle all over again. And for some reason, people are just bound and determined to I, – I need, I need people – here's a great idea. Go look up the definition of insanity. What's that, Slim? I don't think Miami fans have heard of it. The, the, well, we're going to learn something today, boys and girls. The definition of insanity is repeating something over and over and over again – and expecting a different outcome. Interesting. Hey, thanks again, James Hennessy, with another $2 Super Chat. He says, Jason Taylor's son won the LSU game. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We appreciate you being here, man. Thanks. And I'm glad. I, I was happy to see LSU... Um, Beat Alabama. That that was a cool. It's, that was a cool ending. It's going to be pretty interesting to see that they're not going to be in the playoff this year. Now, oh, Alabama's somebody, 